to the president, Dr. Ernest Baikrova. First Lady, Sia Nyama Kuruma. Honorable Ministers of State, Lord Bishops seated over there, I bow and say good afternoon to you all. And to the clergy over there, good afternoon. And to all these, all the heaven, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. And all, all the men and women of God within this premise, good afternoon. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, celebrating, good afternoon. I bring you fraternal greetings from the entire citizenry of this municipality and the environs. Lord Bishop Abu Kuma, I was not lying in bed with you when God spoke to you. And I'm pretty sure that my lady, Patricia Kuruma, even though she was sleeping beside you, may not have had God's command when God said to you, like he told Nehemiah of old, rise up and build the walls of Jerusalem. I know fully well he did not say to you, rise up and build the walls of Sierra Leone. He said to you, rise up and build a church where my people will go to praise my name. You have done it. You are came unto God's command. So God, in his wisdom and his majesty, supported you. Like he supported Solomon of old, when Solomon chose to build a temple for the Lord. And God said, I will be with you. And upon completion, he further said, I will dwell in this temple. I will support you. So I'm pretty sure that God is saying unto you, he will dwell in this flaming church. He will support you to heal the sick. He will help you to deliver people in need. God in this particular place will direct you to pray and pray fervently for this nation so that this nation will come from where it is as it now and go to our height even better than where it was in yesterday. I am of the opinion God will continue to support you and support all, all the members of Fleming. What a wonderful and magnificent structure that has been added to the beauty of this our land. I would want to pray that this building continues to be in this same form or in a better form as we continue to pray in it. But I would want to say to you as a church, I know you have your Sunday schools and your Bible studies and everything. I would want to beg that you include in your curriculum teaching people about cleanliness.
I am serious over that. We can only worship God in a beautiful place. We worship God in the beauty of holiness. We go out in the streets. We keep them filthy. We don't pay attention to our surroundings. Sir, and not you alone, all other bishops and all other teacher and all other reverend, let us use this as an opportunity to teach our people the right things and the right ways in life. So on that note, let me heartily congratulate you and let me say to you,